Last night, the Warriors went to Milwaukee and got knocked out by Giannis and the Bucks without Draymond in the lineup and without any real size anywhere else. The Dubs had no answer as the reigning finals MVP went for 30 and 12 and 11 in just 30 minutes. It was a beatdown. Okay, I am joined now by the host of Jalen and, and Jacoby. David Jacoby, what's going on? I guess it's the pandemic we're doing this. You've been doing it before the pandemic, though. You're, you're an influencer. <laughs> yes. You were ahead of the curve. I was ahead, ahead of the curve, curve but now yeah, I don't yeah. even want to do this anymore. Yeah. No, I apologize. Do do? I apologize. I saw you now. getting a little awkward when I put right out there. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the most famous Kendrick this side of Lamar. Kendrick Perkins. What's going on? <laughs> Big Perk. Perk! My God. Jacoby, I want to start with you as always. We're in a rush here. Biggest takeaway from the game last night. Clearly the biggest takeaway from the game is Draymond Green's absence is more impactful than his presence. I know that doesn't really make sense, but it's like when you watch the Warriors without Draymond, his box score numbers aren't big, but when he's not there, the offense doesn't click. Everyone points to Steph Curry having these bad shooting nights. A lot of that has to do with Draymond not being there. When you watch Steph Curry highlights, a lot of those passes, a lot of those screens are because of Draymond Green, and they're just not the same team on both ends of the floor without him. Yeah, but by the way, Perk, I know exactly what Jacoby means by Jalen Jacoby. One of the reasons it's such a good show. Um, I, I, like, Draymond Green, if you reduce the Warriors, their offense to a one single, in, the most important, it's, it's Steph. But his crime partner, more than anyone, is Draymond, his pick-and-roll partner, the do-everything defensive guy. I think he is as important to the identity of that team as anyone. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And look, I don't disagree. I actually agree with, with, with both of you guys. And a while back, I told the world that Draymond Green is the heart and soul of the Warriors, and people thought I was crazy. No, he gives them swagger, not just for Steph Curry. It's just like when you're walking into the arena and you're getting off the, uh, off the bus and you're on the road and you know that you got Draymond, it gives you a certain type of, you know, swag in your shoulder. So... I agree with both of y'all as far as that takeaway. But the my way, biggest the, takeaway was Giannis. Yeah. Giannis. Giannis, yeah. Yeah, Giannis the, most dom dude. the most dominant player in the NBA. His facilitating and the way he's able to make others around him better now. Like, you know, the great Kevin Garnett told me that you know when a superstar has elevated his game to the next level is mm -hmm. when he's able to go out there and get his and make others around him better. And that's exactly what Giannis is doing right now. Make circus passes in actual competitive NBA games, and it works out, right? Speaking mm -hmm. of the Warriors, on Tuesday, we used the game against the Warriors as a sort of unofficial coming out party for Ja Morant, superstar, right? Well, tonight, the Grizzlies play against another guy who played himself into the position as the next potential face of the league, Luka Doncic. Grizz Mavs tonight on ESPN. Tune in, by the way. But here's the question, David Jacoby. If you can start your team with one player, I'm already doing this with Ja Morant, Ja or Luca. When I was posed this question earlier today, I had to think about it pretty hard. This is very close. However, I have to go with Luka Doncic because of what he does, the playmaking. He can shoot from three. He can get to the hole. He can hit you in mid-range. He has nine assists, eight rebounds, 25 points every time six he puts his sneakers on. Yeah. It's the height. So to take nothing away from John Murray, who's having an amazing season, who's an amazing player, I would definitely clearly start with Luca. On the other hand, Perk, Ja mm. really can't shoot it yet, and, but he's coming on. Like, what happens when Ja can really shoot it? Who do you like here? Well, I mean, he is, a, he is shooting a career high from three this year, but I'm, I'm going with John ja Morant. And just solely off of the combination of a Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, and Ray John Rondo. When you talk about electrified, when you talk about a guy that cannot be guarded or cannot be stopped from getting to the basket, he's in that conversation. And so when I look at his killer mindset, I look at his mentality, he's going to warn you that he's coming, he's going to talk about it, and he's going to show up and deliver. Think about this year, right, Max and Jacoby? Every superstar that he's matched up with or superstars, he's outperformed them, and he got the W. That man want all the smoke. Give me that killer. I can't believe it. I'd also take Ja. I, I, I can't believe it. I'll take a six foot three guy over a six eight guy, but he, I think he's that special. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.